I went to uh, a camp called Camp Monte Blanco, which is in Bolivia. I led a short-term mission team from our church to the camp to work at a pastor's conference. What led me now to go on my own a year later is that I saw a need while I was there. They were uh, Another team had been there a year earlier building a, a water system, and they had a project about 50% complete. They had to come back and finish it. And I just asked a question. I said, you know, if you need some help with that project, when it comes up for completion, I would be willing to come back and help complete that project. I serve as a year-round volunteer with Operation Christmas Child. So I had the privilege this year to go to Tanzania, Africa, at the base of Mount Kilimanjaro and hand out shoeboxes. I was invited to go on this trip um, with other servant leaders that served as year-round volunteers. They call it the Harvest Vision Trip, so being able to watch and see what God is doing through the ministry on the other side of the box is just a wonderful thing. If you go over there with the idea that uh, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, and it's your agenda, I think that really um, will end up disappointing you. And I think that's one thing that it's hard to describe, like how is God going to bless me? You don't know until you actually go and do a mission. I love the verse in Corinthians that talks about how we are bought with a price, therefore we are to glorify God with our body. And I just feel that that's what we are, are put on earth to do, is to fulfill the Great Commission and to do what we can be used as His tools, and what an honor that is. Anybody I've ever talked to that is going on a short-term mission, God finds a way to bless you while you're glorifying Him.